Hello, my little woolly. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to knit a beautiful stitch called the braided basket stitch pattern. It's a four row repeat pattern. You could use it, for example, for a center panel on a sweater or also for a hat or maybe a blanket combining sections of this braided basket and stockinette or garter. The possibilities are endless. So grab your needles, a little bit of yarn, and let's get started. Firstly, we need to cast on multiples of 4 plus 2. For example, 4 times 3, 12, plus 2, 14. Those two stitches will be edge or selvage stitches. Shouldn't be tight, the cast on row. First row, right side of the work. We start with knit one, the edge stitch. And now we have to knit two. One. And two. And here comes the repeat. The repeat is what you will find between asterisks on the written instructions. Remember, you can find my patterns on my website, sowoolly.net, and there is a link for you below this video on the description box, below the title of the video. So, the repeat is slip two stitches onto the stitch holder, cable needle, or even a bobby pin. I prefer to use these because they are short and easier for me. So I'm going to take two stitches off the left hand needle and place them at the back of the work. Knit the following two. One, two, and now bring them back. I'm going to place them back onto the left hand needle. One and two. And knit both of them. One and two. That's it. That's the repeat. Let's do it again. Take your cable needle or a stitch holder or bobby pin and put two stitches there, hold them at the back of the work, knit two, one, two, and now take both of them and put them back onto the left hand needle and knit both one and two. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there are three stitches left ending with knit three. Two stitches belong to the pattern. The last one is the edge stitch. And only on this first row, I like to work the last stitch through the back loop. So I'm going to knit that through the back loop. This way, we can avoid a huge loop there. Second row, we're going to purl every stitch. Third row, right side of the work. We start with knit one, the edge stitch, 
And now comes the repeat. Slip the next two stitches onto your cable needle and place them at the front of the work. Net the following two. One, two, and take those two back onto the left hand needle and knit both. One, two, and repeat. Place two, hold at the front, knit two, and place those two back onto the left hand needle and knit them. One, two, and repeat. Take two, hold them at the front or in front, knit two, and take them back and put them onto the left hand needle and knit both. One, two. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there is one stitch left, ending with knit one. Row four, as per row two, just curl every stitch. So these four rows create the pattern. Repeat them until the desired length is reached. When finished, we're going to bind off purlwise facing the wrong side of the work after row three. So instead of working row four, we're going to bind off purlwise. And this swatch has been blocked because it tends to bend here at the bottom. So don't forget to block your swatch or you can add a nice edge on each side of the piece, depending on what your project is. And this is everything for today, my little woolly. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. And happy knitting!